Number 106. Draw the Lewis structures and predict the shape of each compound or ion. And then we have SO3, so sulfur trioxide. Okay, so we got to draw this Lewis structure and then we can predict the shape. Now, when they're talking about the shape, they're basically looking for either a molecular geometry or a molecular structure. So we'll just say it's a molecular geometry. But you can't do that, geometry, you can't do that and you can't use this chart, which is all your molecular geometries, without the Lewis structure. So let's go for it. Sulfur trioxide, always pick the least electronegative element in the middle, right, as the central atom. So between sulfur and oxygen, they're in the same group, but as you go down a group, your electronegativity will drop, it will decrease. So sulfur is a little bit less electronegative than oxygen, so sulfur in the middle, surrounded by three oxygens. And maybe we'll do one, two, three. Oh boy. Okay. So there we go. That looks a lot better. Now, to draw the Lewis structures, it always comes from the valence electrons. So all of these, since they're in the same group, they're all 6a or 16, depending on what your periodic table says. The 6 is the lucky number. So sulfur has six valence electrons, and each oxygen also has six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, bind them up, single bonds first, and then double them up if you need more bonds. So single, single, dot to dot is single bonds, so dot to dot. Single, dot to dot, oh boy. There we go. Let's see, maybe I can, there we go, beautiful, okay. Now for all the oxygens, because they're all the same, right, they have two, four, six, seven electrons. They want that octet, they want that extra electron from the sulfur. So bind it up, dot to dot. Now this oxygen is good, two, four, six, eight electrons. And the same thing for this one. It wants that extra one. So now it has the octet and the same thing for this one. Um, that looks about good. <laughs> so here is the Lewis structure. Now just remember that sulfur, it you know, is lower than a period two on the periodic table, right? It's in period three. And um, those elements, sulfur, chlorine, iodine, if you are the center atom, you can have something called the expanded octet. And 12 electrons is the max. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So this is perfectly fine. Now, since we have the Lewis structure, we can find the molecular geometry. And the molecular geometry always comes from the central atom. And in this case, the central atom is the sulfur. Now, in order to use this chart, the two things that you need to know are the total number of atoms and the lone pairs around the central atom. So if the central atom in this case is sulfur, let's first find out how many, um, how many atoms are around it. Well, they're all, you know, the sulfur is bound to all three of the oxygens. So it's got one oxygen, We'll just highlight it nice. We got two oxygens and we got three oxygens. So that's three atoms. And does the sulfur have any lone pairs? Not that I see, right? All the lone pairs that the sulfur has are towards the oxygen. We can't count those. So it's got three atoms and zero lone pairs. Now, in order to find out what number we're at, whether we're two to six, you take the three in this case, and you take the zero, and you add them together. Three plus zero is three. So we know we're in this category. But the idea here is which one is it? Well, that comes down to how many lone pairs you had. But we said that you had zero lone pairs. So zero lone pairs and number three, this molecule is trigonal planar. So we got trigonal planar as the shape. Okie dokie. And if we talk about the bond angles, 
right? The bond angles for trigonal planar is 120 all around because if you cut a pizza, which is 360 degrees, into three equal parts, right? Or you cut a circle into three equal parts, each one of those would always be 120 degrees away from each other because 360 divided by three is 120. And that's it. There you go. Let's, let's just pull this up a little bit because it's kind of bothering me. Okay, now everything looks great. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for all your kind comments and for being part of this community. I hope we're giving you great educational content so that you guys can thrive in your chem class. We also got physics videos and math videos on the channel. So thank you. Go check it out. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.